So we've been talking a little bit about biodiversity in class, and I thought we'd take some time to get a little bit deeper into the definition. Biodiversity actually has two parts to it. The first is called species richness, and the second is species evenness. Species richness is just simply the number of species in a given area, whereas species evenness is the distribution of species. And what I mean by the distribution of species is how evenly they are distributed or spread out based on different factors such as their size. So if you think about trees, um, are trees of the same species of same sizes or different sizes distributed throughout the ecosystem? Maybe in this part of the ecosystem there are smaller trees, in another part there are bigger trees. You could also look at their distribution based on numbers. Are there just more of the particular species in one place or another? And you could look at their distribution of productivity. Productivity referring to the amount of energy they're producing for the environment. So evenness and richness both contribute to biodiversity. It's not enough just to have a high number of species, but you also have to consider how those species are distributed throughout the ecosystem, if they are evenly distributed or if they're clumped together in places uh, throughout the ecosystem. So how do we take these two things into account to decide if an area has a high biodiversity or not? It's hard to just look at an area and try to determine that. So scientists have come up with an equation to help us figure out biodiversity. So here's the equation for calculating biodiversity. You can see the equation at the top. I'm going to just talk through the variables a little bit. The first variable you noticed is this big N. That is the actual total number of individuals in an ecosystem. So you're going to look at all the individuals in all the species, count them up, and that's going to be your big N value. The second variable is this little n value. The little n equals the number of individuals in a particular species. So we're only looking within the species and counting up how many individuals are in that group. So let's do an example to figure out how you can use this equation to calculate biodiversity. Okay, I'm a researcher and I'm in three different ponds tracking three different species of fish. Redfish, bluefish, greenfish, and they are very happy fish. So in pond A, where we're going to focus for our sample problem here, I have 40 redfish, 50 bluefish, and 45 greenfish. And I want to calculate the biodiversity of pond A. So the first thing I need to do is add up all of the total individuals in that population for my big N value. So if I'm just looking at pond A and I add up all the individuals, I'm adding 40 plus 50 plus 45 which is a total of 135. So the big N value, which remember was all the species in the populations combined, so all the different species, all the numbers, all the individuals, is 135. We have a total of 135 fish in this pond. Now we're going to complete the rest of that equation. So the top of that equation said we want to take the big N value times the big N value minus 1. Remember it looked like this. So we've got our big N value. The big N value minus 1 is 134, right? Because 135 minus 1 is 134. So to finish the top of the equation, we are just essentially going to take 135, which is the N, times 134, which is the N minus 1, and that total is 18,090. So that's going to sit on the top of our equation. For the bottom of the equation, we need to find the little n values. The little n values are the number of individuals of each species. So the little n value for the red fish is 40. The little n value for the blue fish is 50. And the little n value of the green fish is 45. 
And just like on the bottom, or sorry, on the top, on the bottom we want to take that little n value times the little n minus 1. So 40 is our little n value, times n minus 1 would be times 39. 50 is the little n value, 50 minus 1 is 49. 45 is our n value, 45 minus 1 is 44. And then you actually need to multiply those out. So 40 times 39 is 1560. 50 times 49 is 2450. 45 times 44 is 1980. So that's all the products of our little n times our little n minus 1. But don't forget also on the bottom, we don't just put these numbers in there. We also add a little bit more. It's the sum of all those values. So we need to add them together. So when we add all of those together, the total is 5,990. And that is the number that goes on the bottom of our first value. Okay, so we've solved the top, we solved the bottom. All it takes now is to divide that out. When you divide these two numbers, your value is 3.02. So there's your answer. Now that tells us the biodiversity of pond A is 3.02. That doesn't tell us a lot on its own, but if you'd calculate the biodiversity of B and also the biodiversity of C, then you could compare those three ecosystems and see which has the highest biodiversity and which has the lowest biodiversity. So that's what I'm going to ask you to do on your own. For pond B and pond C, follow these same steps, calculate the final biodiversity value, and we'll talk about the comparisons in class.